everyone and welcome back to my channel. So firstly, sorry there was not a video on Monday. Uh, if you're in England, you'll know it's my holiday. Um, and we had a really busy weekend, so I just didn't get around to filming anything, editing anything, uploading anything. So I'm sorry, but I'm back to the usual schedule today. Um, secondly, I want to apologise for my appearance. I have had a busy few days and I just haven't had the energy to do my hair. My hair's clean, like I washed my hair last night, but I haven't had the energy to put any makeup on and my hair's in its natural state and it doesn't look grey. So I just thought I'd check it out. But today I'm coming with coming to you with a back to school for a preschooler haul. So Bailey starts school in two weeks. It was two weeks on Monday that she starts, so it's a week on Monday. Um, she will be going into preschool, She's, as you know she's three, so she's going to be going five days a week, uh, 8.30 to 11.30, so, and her preschool requires her to wear a uniform. Uh, so we've been out, bought everything we needed, some stuff we had to order from a website that our, our school uses because she has to have logoed cardigans. And I got her one logo polo and stuff. So I'm not going to show you the school logo, but I will show you the items. Um, Roscoe, stop. If you hear whining, Roscoe is next to me and he's not happy because since we've had him, Ty hasn't worked nights and he's back on nights now. So he's he's confused with the new schedule. So he's, he's taking a couple of days to adjust. So God, I don't even know where to start. There's a huge pile of stuff in front of me. Okay, so I ordered from a school site uh, the site that our school uses and when you place your order if you order these you've got free delivery and I thought they would come in handy I don't know if they're yeah they're iron on name tapes with Bailey's name on I think I've got 20 so that's really handy I can do like all her polos her pinafores and everything um so and do they come with instructions oh they do and a little QR code for um uh, like video on YouTube so I got those in order to get free delivery because the shipping where they were in Swindon like I could have gone and collected but I just couldn't be bothered to be honest with you so I thought I'd need labels anyway and I was going to order them off eBay or Etsy and they were only $1.99 and d shipping was like $3.99 so I saved myself some money there so I'm just going to start at the top of the pile that's on in front of me and work my way down so the first thing I have is one of her I'm trying to think the best way to hold this without you being able to see the label is her labelled polo it's just a white polo with the school label I'm not showing you obviously for privacy reasons it has the name of the school on I don't want people knowing when my child goes to school um there'll be another video coming about a situation I had happen via snapchat the other day and I'm gonna do a full video about it but um for that I've just become really like strict to, like, really worried about our privacy so I don't want don't want to show the name of my child's school so that's her logo polo and I only got one because most of the time we've chosen to put her in pinafores um I just think they're so cute and um so you can't see her polo but I thought for when she is wearing a skirt um it'd be nice for her to have the logo polo and I don't know how many other kids would have logoed ones if it turns out that the kids all wear logo polos Every day I'll order her more, but she's gonna be wearing pinafores. So I will say we didn't buy all of this. Like my dad bought some things and my mum bought some bits. Oh, that's my watch. So I will say where. So I wanted some stuff from MS because all of this is from MS Steichman and Asda, as well as the stuff obviously we got from the specialist store. Um I just think MS has a lot of good quality, but then when I compared the quality to Asda, as we bought the stuff in M&S, there wasn't really much of a difference. And there isn't actually much of a difference in price. I was extremely surprised. So um, I did get the majority from Asda, but my mum got her these two pinafores. I'll just show you one because they're, they're exactly the same. They're just gray pleated pinafores. Look how small they are. Like my little babe's gonna wear them. It's got a little zip in the front. Um, and Oh, I think she's pulled the tag off these. These were £12 for two, I'm pretty sure. So, I just really liked them. My mum really liked them, so my mum decided she wanted to get them for her, which I really appreciate. So, thank you very much, mum, because I know you watch. So. 
Oh, and it is Wednesday the 28th, the day that I'm putting this video out, and that is my dad's birthday. So happy birthday, dad, if you're watching. I don't know if he will be, but I know my sister does watch my videos, so she will tell him. Then these are the cardigans for her school. Again, with the logo. So they have to wear a logoed cardi. So it's just, a, I can't really show you. It's a dark navy cardigan. Very cute. That's the back. And then as you can imagine, there's buttons down the front. Very sweet. Um, and I was really impressed at the price of these. The polo labelled was 5 99 and the Cardis, I think, were like 7 99 each. I was really impressed, like really impressed with the price. So I got her two cardigans because I figured if she gets one day, I'll have time to wash it and then, because she's going every day, but everything else she has like five of. So then my, no, I bought her these skirts. We got her. I was only going to get her one skirt, but they were in a pack of two and they oh god, she's taking the blinking price off of them. Bailey likes to pull labels off of things. I do believe they were like five or six pound for two skirts. And they're just really cute little grey pleated skirts. They have to wear grey at her school. So two little grey skirts, very sweet. And they're like elasticated on the back, which I think is really good because Bailey has a little skinny waist, so. Okay, next are polos. Five polos for six pounds. You cannot go wrong. She has, to wear, she has to wear polo shirts as opposed to shirts. So she has her one logo shirt but she's wearing a skirt one day. But then she has five as well because I just think they're gonna get dirty, aren't they? Might as well buy in bulk and they, they were so cheap. So, and these have like the stain release in, which is the main thing I wanted from M&S was that they had the stain protection and these do too, so no qualms there. So yeah, we got her them five polo shirts for under her pinafores. Um, next I've gone to PE kit I have that in front of me. We were told we need to get PE kit. She will do PE. We don't know how often. Um, I don't know if it'll be like a weekly thing or like just every once in a while, but her school's actually a new school and it's only going to be her nursery class and one year of reception, like one class of reception. I think there's going to be less than like 50 students in the whole school for her whole year so a lot of their stuff they're gonna do combined like the preschool will work like go into the reception class a lot we've been told and do PE with them when they do PE and stuff so she needed white t-shirts for PE I cannot tell you how hard it was to find white t-shirts for school in Bailey size okay so we went to Asda Asda had literally no shorts for girls no in her size in navy or even in black and they have to have navy but not even in black um and no t-shirts in her size so we went over to m s and they had the t-shirts but only four to a uh, five to six plus so my dad spotted these in the boys section and they are exactly the same as the t-shirts but they're marketed as short sleeve vests but you know what they're exactly the same exactly the same as the t-shirts like we actually got one out of each packet and compared them they're the same material everything and that was four pound for three t-shirts and the actual school t-shirts were six pound like the actual ones that were marketed for pe were six pounds for three so for two sorry so we've got those still there and then in mns as well my dad just got her two little pairs of navy shorts how tiny are these little drawstring at the waist and these i believe were like five pounds seven seven pounds these were for two pairs of shorts i would have rather have got her like these are unisex and i would have rather have got her the girls ones but m and s didn't actually have a PE range for girls for starters and as they didn't have her size so you've got to do what you've got to do i wasn't going back a second time i wanted to get everything in one guy happy days uh the other pinafore I got her, I got her one more pinafore. So she has a pinafore or a skirt for every single day. So she has a clean one because, what's the, what's the matter, boy? He's really pining for time. Um, I mean, I thought, kids are dirty, especially preschoolers, especially three-year-olds. They're going to be painting. They're going to be doing all sorts, having milk, eating. They get fruit and milk every single day. So I just thought best to have one for every day and then I'm covered. If she doesn't use one for every day, fine. But... I'm covered that way and if they get dirty I have backups and you also have to, I also have to send her I'm also going to be sorry sending her in with a full spare change of uniform because Bailey is 
Um, she is completely potty trained and she doesn't really have accidents, but I don't know how she's going to be in a new environment. And I think the school does request that you send them in. So this is the other little pinnacle we've got. This was my mum's favourite one they had in Asda, but she'd already bought the ones from MS, so I bought this. There's a little love heart here. It's not the exact one I wanted, but it's a pinnacle, it's cute, and it will do. And that is in a three to four as well, and that's five pounds. The tag is still on that one. Next, we got her. Her school does branded PE bags, book bags and stuff. She doesn't need a book bag this year because she's not in like full-time school. Uh, as far as I'm aware, she won't have homework. I, I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong, but we bought her a backpack, so. Um, but we did buy her a PE bag. Again, it has her logo on, but it's just a drawstring bag, navy drawstring bag with her logo on, and then you can put her name and her class in there. And this will probably be used for a few years, so. That's fine. Um, I'll move on to what's in the bag first. I'm... This is her backpack that we got. I say we. Ty picked this. I wanted to get her like a toddler's backpack that will fit on a toddler. He decided to buy her a regular kid's backpack that literally takes up, like it goes from her shoulders to her knees. It takes up most of my child. But he likes it because it's marble. Ty has a thing about marble. A lot of the stuff in our kitchen is marble at the minute. Um, he likes it. So do you know what? He's, Ty, as a lot of people know, Ty's the breadwinner in our family. He paid for it. He, he got to choose. I chose everything else. So. And it was only £10, and it was only £1 more expensive than the toddler one. So, and it has bottle pockets, which the toddler one doesn't have. So it has like a front of her, I don't think we've got anything hidden. The rest of it is full of the rest of the stuff she needs. So, um, I'm the freak that decided that my child is going to have separate underwear for school. I'm not sure why, I just thought I would get her separate underwear for school and like play. So, that, Ty was happy to do so. So, and also she had to have like certain socks and tights so that's basically what's in this bag so the first thing i'm pulling out is her tights it's five pairs so again one pair for every day these are anti-bobble that's actually why i like the as tights and it's five pairs for eight pounds she has to have navy tights so i do believe that's what we got yep navy tights come to notice i actually have five pairs of navy tights they go with all our dresses like in the winter and stuff but I thought they were black and I bought them last year, uh, no, earlier this year. And do you know what? She's now got separate ones. And she has a separate drawer for like, she, all her school underwear is going to go in her school drawer. So, five pairs, navy tights for school. Again, all of this is from Mazda. Um, she has to, if she isn't wearing tights and she's wearing socks, she can either wear knee high or ankle. I got both because you never know. So, she is going to. Uh, when she's wearing knee highs, which will be like now onwards really, like for a couple of months maybe, grey knee high socks. This is five pairs for three pounds, so again one pair for every day if she wishes to wear them. Now obviously she's gonna, if she's going to be doing pee, she's going to need little ankle socks and stuff. And also like if it's like really hot, like as a lot you know in England, September can get pretty hot. So if it's really hot and she's just wearing a little skirt, she can just wear little ankle socks. Um, and I chose white for that. She could, for all her socks, she could either have navy, grey, or white. So they only offered grey or white. And I said, I couldn't get navy, I could get black, I couldn't get navy. So, but I also thought these would be good for PE. And this is actually 10 pairs of socks for three pounds. So I'm actually thinking about maybe halving it and keeping some for like every day. Or like just taking out a few pairs for every day because she does, is running low on socks. And then the other two things i got from asda were some a 10 pack of knickers for a fiver i don't know how she's going to come to feel when she grows up about me showing her knickers on the internet but it's pack is, it is what it is and then i got her some little cami vests to wear underneath her polos i don't want her to get cold plus also if she's changing for pee it's like it's like a little sense of dignity isn't it um and that was four pound for five pairs so again one pair for every day and all of that will be washed separately to her other washing. I've actually got a separate laundry basket that's just going to be for school uniform. And I'll do two loads of school uniform a week, white load and dark load. And then just to show you like the inside of her bag, it has like this pocket at the back, like a folder or a computer. And then the main reason Ty really wanted to get it was because it had like a place to write her name. And I went and bought some Sharpies today to do so. Uh, we do have a water bottle for her. Let's just go in with a water bottle. But I didn't think to bring it over here and even though she doesn't take lunch this year ty bought her a lunch box just like a plastic tupperware one like with different compartments and stuff he was like oh well, you never know she might go on a school trip or they might not do this kind next year and then next year we'll get her like the um like box one to put it in. 
so shoes shoe 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 so they are right so we bought Dykeman I think I say so Dykeman um we have one in our town center has a deal on for back to school where you get one pair of buy one pair of shoes get one half price on school shoes so I thought that was really good so we got this pair that's actually one size up so I'm guaranteeing her feet are going to grow throughout the year so um we're prepared and they're these little really cute patent leather little ones and she keeps putting them on so she obviously likes them so that's them and they're by a brand called cupcake couture she's had some shoes number four and one thing i really like about dykeman we could never done to that one but i'll show you what we got for that one that we have done to these is they have a machine in dykeman that like and um, we've had it done to some shoes she's bought before we've bought before sorry um they have this machine and you put it in that are like weatherproofs and scuff proofs and it puts a protection protective coating on the shoes and i think it's really genius but these are her ones for this year oh my god i'm gonna die every time i look at them they're little tea bars a little matte black gorgeous little school shoes i had a pair like this when i was little and i love them and for anyone that's wondering they is three and she wears a size eight all right boy and oh sorry those ones were 14.99 so we got them for 7.99 and no 7.45 sorry and these were 14.99 also by the same brand the cup picture and they were protected by that protection stuff then again my dad bought her whole PE kit so he also bought her the little Kim towels for doing PE in a size 8 and these were also protected with the waterproof and it doesn't change the texture of fabric I don't know what it does we had it done to a pair of suede boots last year. She wore them in all weather and they are pristine. I've actually just sold them. They don't fit her anymore. Then we were advised to get her these little heel support patches for $1.99. I think this is just like upselling at the till, but like as a mum with a child going to school for the first time, I was like, give me everything. So um, these basically just go in the like back, the heel of the shoe and stop their feet from rubbing. I don't want her to get blisters and she is prone to them. I also got a pack of six shoe labels. Um, they just look like this. So you just stick them in the shoe, um, essentially, and write their name on them. Today's again, $1.99. I actually requested these at the till. I wanted them. I'm a big thing about things like that. And the last thing we got from there was for her leather one, her pattern leather, they gave us a leather shoe shiner block thing which has like some kind of like polishing that i didn't realize and i've just like wiped all over my hand fabulous that was 2.99 um and we have another pair of shoes she can use this on she has a pair of like patent leather loafers that i actually did want her to wear to school but i said no because they had no like ankles like nothing around the top of the foot to keep her foot in them so yeah that is everything we got for back to school Sorry if the camera angle changed, Ty's called me. Yeah, so let me know if anything critical that you think I've missed, I, I need to get because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got what was on the uniform list. She has a stay and play next week. I don't even know what to pack in her bag for the first day. Um, so if you have any tips for that for like preschool, please let me know. And it's preschool at a school, like at a primary school. Um, please let me know. Um, I'm, she has a stay and play next Friday, so I'm gonna ask then if there's anything that they need. I don't even know if she has to wear her uniform for the stay and play, to be honest. We haven't really been given very much information. I need to like contact somebody. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, just please subscribe if you're new. Um, I, I'm really loving being back filming and I want to continue to see where the channel grows too. So, please do. Um, subscribe, like and comment. I had some lovely feedback on my last video. Um, so yeah, and I will see you in the next video, which will be on Friday. Bye guys.